Hello everyone, Cesare here with more Final Fantasy XI. Joining us, of course, is Miro, Silly, Seraph, and Zokuma Rokuma. Slash job emoting in. And, of course, <laughs> the amazing job. Look at that. Look at that wonderful frog. Miro in a frog coat riding a frog. And Silly's looking for party. I should probably invite him. Alright. So, what do we have on the agenda today? Well, I found out that there's apparently a trust that we did not get within Heaven's Tower. So, I'm going to put my actual equipment back on. Well, my fighting equipment, not my actual equipment. If I could, if I, could I would use the job code all the time. That's right. Alright, let's go in. But alas, we cannot do that. So, I don't know exactly where we gotta go. I knew, do know that we don't have to go up or anything. I'm pretty sure it's just through these doors. The music here in this place always reminds me of two different games. Chrono Trigger and... Okay, three different games. <laughs> Chrono Trigger, Legend of Lagaya, and um, Xenogears. We talked to Kupipi. Oh, Kupipi, I can't even talk to her. There we go. She's just so short that her click hitbox is really low. Why, hello there! Ah, wait, this is absolutely perfect! Lady Semi Lafina! You can voice Semi Lafina. <clears throat> okay, I will. Are you aware of a recently developed magical regimen known as the Trust Initiative? No, I'm not. I am a participant in that activity myself, so I'll give you this cipher with my essence for you to take on your travels. Excellent. Please do be careful with it. I don't give out such valuable scrolls to just anyone, but I'll give them out to just every adventurer who walks in here. Yeah. So I do give them to just everyone. I'm just lying to your face. Yeah. That's pretty much how it goes. Anyway, so that's uh, that's all we needed to pick up here. Uh, pretty exciting, I know, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so now where do we go? Well, the next thing I have planned. Let me close this. I don't need this page open anymore. We need to go to Rabao again. And you get Rabau. to you get to voice the NPC. We gotta go talk to. Is it Raban? Uh, no, it's not Raban, but it, uh, we now know where he comes from. Didn't uh, you know Raban that comes from Rabao? Didn't you know that the El Tepe Desert uh, uh, joins into Thanalan, uh, just past southern Thanalan? It's a pretty large desert then, because the El Tepe Desert is big enough as it is. Exactly. Like, just like half of half of the whole planet is just a desert. So. Not to get off topic, but as we're on our travels, I should talk about something completely unrelated to Final Fantasy XI, as I often do. All right. Uh, last night, I played a game that I got, and unfortunately, I don't remember the name of it. I, I bought this game the other day because it was really cheap. It was like $10 or something, and I'm having trouble clicking this. Rabao is like... Kuzats. I just like Kuzats, yeah. I think called Bite 2. Okay. I went to I played this game and it's like this like it's it's like a 2D kind of no man's sky ish kind of thing where like you start out in this spaceship and you have to like use Newtonian physics to like use your rocket thrust and explore planets and you know get points and you have like your ship has energy meter and and your goal is to like get enough uh, points to be able to use your uh, light speed travel thing. And it's funny because, like, in order to get from planet to planet, you have to, like, time your rocket fire so you can don't, like, go into the sun by accident and stuff like that. <laughs> and it's a pretty funny game. But, like, what I don't understand is I was streaming it. So if you want, you can see, like, what the game looks like. But it, it, um... Like, I don't understand how people find you when you're playing a game no one else is playing at all. Like, 
I went in there to play, and someone joins the channel, and the only comment they made was, what is this BS? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, how did you find me? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't even know the name of this game. How do you know the name of this game? All right, so this is the guy I'm voicing. Agado Pugato. Agado Pugato. Okay, I'll click him. Wowzy, wowzy, don't make me talk. I hurt all over. Hey, you're that famous adventurer. Silly. And now I will proceed to talk a lot. Yippee, this is my lucky day. Let me introduce myself. I am from the Rhinostery in Windhurst. I do research on various living things, like cats. And I'm the bestie westie they've got. I've been looking into phenomena at a certain place. What phenomena, you ask? Well, there are these giant crystals, you see. And from those crystals, a strangey, wangy power is constantly pouring forth. Our research team has been investigating the unusual emanations when... Guess what? No, you just tell me. We finally succeeded in awakening the crystals. Our theory on what lay dormant inside the crystals was proven to be right a on the money. Except they didn't appreciate being woken up, we were attacked, and we were bested wested. Why do they so despise talking with us that they would rather fight? And what on Vanadiel would happen if someone were to defeat them? I think we know. You call yourself an adventurer, right? Give it a shot! Bring, Bring it, on. it on. Great! Here, take this tuning fork of wind. But be warned, only a person who carries one can enter the crystal and fight Garuda. Garuda? Maybe. I'm just guessing because it says wind. Well, it could, it, be, it could be Pandemona. That's true. It could be Desdemona. It could be Bismarck. What? That's true. It could be Bismarck. Because Bismarck in FF14 is the primal of wind and water. What a jerk. How did he take Garuda's job? Exactly. Alright, we are heading to... Uh, Volbo, Cape Tarragon. Okay, but the thing is, um... Uh, Ravana is the, uh, primal of fire and earth. This is, what is this? this is this, like, they're adding, like, multiple elements? Like, oh, Ifrit's the primal of fire, but no, Ravana is the primal of fire and something else get fucked. So Ravana could be... It, all right, so here's my question. In a contest, if Ravana is the primal of two elements, does that mean that he is twice as strong as Ifrit, and he could fight Ifrit and Titan put together? Or does that mean he is half as strong because he has to divide his power into two elements? I think that just means that he is equally as powerful as both of them. He just uses both elements. Kind of like how in Naruto, a ninja who uses multiple elements isn't necessarily stronger or weaker than a ninja who uses just one element. I see. Perhaps. P okay, so before we go on, Piamet uh, made a post on Facebook yesterday, and she had hashtag sweater dress on there. And I commented that she needs to wear a sweater vest, uh, because sweater vests are cool. And then, I, and then I went on to say, I mean, hell, there was a ninja who took the tune-in selection exam in Naruto who wore a sweater vest, and he was badass. <laughs> they never tell you the character's name, and I think he, like, fails because one of his teammates fail or something. But... He took the exam wearing a sweater vest. That's awesome. I approve. Going in. As if sensing the presence of the proto crystal, the tuning fork of wind begins to softly resonate. And fire. Who interrupts my slumber? Was I dreaming for but an instant or an eternity? The radiance that illuminates all. Lost. Which is the real world? And which is the dream? Am I? But enough. Wager your life to prove your skill. Let us see if you can provide me with a moment of amusement. Are you ready? You who is one yet many? How the hell would she know that? Alright. Hello, Garuda. She looks kind of cool in this. Yeah. I kind of like her FF14 uh, character model better, but this one's got like cool markings and shit too. Alright, Selene, you ready to fight her? Did you not get that again? Get what again? 
My chocobo jig. Oh. So weird. You were like right next to me. I was probably selling the cutscene, I don't know. No, no, I casted it as you ran past me. Well, that's weird. I have no idea. No. Maybe it doesn't consider us in the same party. <laughs> Alright, Gerda, let's do this. Gerda Prime. Ow. Don't hit me. Oh, Silly scores a critical hit and does 67 damage. That's Miro right. scores a critical hit and does 270. Alright. Come on, Greta. What is this? Hey, Silly, you at least hit as hard as she does. <laughs> Excluding the additional effect, which seems to do damage to you. Time for Howling Fist. She's dead. <laughs> oh, couldn't cheer. Impressive, child of Vanadil. We sleep in a time that is neither an instant nor an eternity. Is this a world a dream, or is the dream world an illusion? Very well, child of Vanadil. I will grant you a fragment of my power to bring order to chaos. Alright. So silly. Um, we'll have to come back and fight all these again. Twice. <laughs> uh, so unlock summoner at some point, please. I will. I mean, you might get that on your roll, so. That's true. Or Puppet Master and then become completely broke. Puppet Master! Or Corsair. Or Beast Master and then I can have Bowie as a pet. With your luck you'll get Beast Master slash Puppet Master. <laughs> oh yeah, because we have to roll for the sub job as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be there are gonna be some weird ass choices. Come back here. Oh, did I pass the crystal? Yes. What? Did it not appear? Uh, I guess not. Alright, we are going back to... Rabao. Kuzats. Kuzats. Rabao. I guess we can go to home point one because it was closer than home point two. Nope, I went past Kuzats. Alright, so I think that might be all of them. Uh, no, we have one more to do. Uh for primals, but I'm not telling you who it is. It is... I mean, technically you should already know, because we've seen it, but... Maduin. If only. It is... Shoat. Shoat! It is... Phantom. Shoat? Come on. It is... Yojimbo. I like how you call him Shoat, even though it, that was just a uh, odd translation for Catabolic Pass in the, the Americas. Easy to say, and they should never have chose Catabolic Pass. All right, so you like this guy? Okay. Shoat. <laughs> actually, they actually called him Shoat in the original F Five as well. How'd it go? Wowie! Wow! Wow! You defeated a Prime Avatar again, and I'm surprised. They've got their mind erased. That's true. I see. The Prime Avatar said that to you? I wonder what it could mean. There is no need to understand. You will forget what I have said. Okay. You, you're... How does he remember that person every time? For like a second. <laughs> Might be someone famous in Winders. Maybe. You have power. Will you allow that power to slumber for eternity? Surrender that power to me, and I will craft that power into whatever you desire. Choose. What do you desire? What do you seek? I you should take uh Gruda's dagger. No, a yeah. pact with an avatar. 
Are you sure? Yes. Alright. Something interfering. And now... Miro! Listen to the voice within you! If you focus, you will see the true Vanadiel. Even if... That... Yeah, carbuncle. Alright, I'll wait for you here. This little thing is always saying higher, deeper, and stronger, so I don't know what to think of what's going on here. <laughs> uh, huh? I went all spacey wacy for a moment there. Um, who were you again? Was I speaking with you? What were we talking about? Did I tell you I'm a researcher from the Rhinostri in Windhurst already? Poor Tars. I Always getting men in black. Indeed. I actually really like the, uh... The way Tars, tars speak. We should talk like that to PM it. Yeah, right. Wanna see what this dagger looks like? Yeah. Let's equip it on one of my slots. Oh, I can't? What the fuck? Why is there a dagger that dancers can't use? What classes can use it? Uh, well, I can show it to you on Thief later. Okay. Warrior can... I guess it's because Dancer is like an expansion class, and maybe this was before that expansion. And they just forgot to add it in. And maybe. they just never bothered to give it to you? <laughs> that could be. Hello. That's stupid. All oh, right. Well. What can you do? So, we are going to travel to... Actually, I think we need to go to the buck. Uh-oh. To the book. Because we are going to... Alright, so you have a choice here between... Lithium Plateau and... I think... Where's the other place? It's like... Sort of bird. No, not sort of bird. Uh. Which one can give me fire weather? Neither? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> think either of these. Okay, so you have a choice between Tarangi Canyon and Latham Plateau. Mm. I think we went to Tarangi Cavern last time, so we should go to Latham Plateau. No, we went. Time. Went to Conchite last time. Okay. Well, then, we, then since we went to Conchite last time, we should go to Latham Plateau this time. Okay. Latham <laughs> in Zolkheim. Okay. Man, I'm using up all my tabs. I only have 9,500 left. Really? Mm-hmm. I have 2,300. <laughs> I mean, 22,000. Success. All right. So I'm gonna open my map here. Make sure we're going the right way. We are good. All right. I got the chocobo jig for once. For the one and only time. <sighs> you look an orcish fodder. <laughs> you an asshole. What if you get a class, like, a job distribution like, hmm, what would be really weird? Black mage slash warrior. Yeah, well that's, yeah, I guess that's weird. Um, I mean, I could see the benefits of it, I guess, but it's still weird. Paladin Puppet Master. <laughs> Paladin Puppet Master. Beast Master Puppet Master. If you're Beast Master and Puppet Master, can you have a puppet and a beast at the same time? I, I don't think the sub job gets access to the ability oh, to do those things. That sucks. I that would be so funny. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I do not know. Are you fighting something? No. Oh. Goodbye, Strongling Sapling. We did not know you all that well. We knew you for about the briefest of moments. 
I did that in memory of leveling here. In memory of leveling here. Which is funny, considering we're dealing with memory. That is true. Alright. Will we find the, our way through here randomly like we did last time? Only time will tell. We actually killed the Notorious Monster last time. Yeah. Investigate there, there. Yes, we will. Oh, I like the music. Yeah. I actually need to turn the music off after this. Hmm. Someone seems to have arrived before us. You. What are you doing here? You can voice sit in this game. Calm down, Nayame. She's an adventurer. It's her job to go adventuring. And my job to not wear a shirt. We're here to investigate something. It could get pretty dangerous, so I suggest taking a few steps back if you know what's good for you. Basically, they're forcing us to leave. Why, Sid? What business do you have here today? Well, if it isn't little Wolfgang, how have you been? We're here to check out the Crystal Line. Recently, I've been receiving some very strange readings from this area. According to the data retrieved by a Republican Party, the visit here last month containing Donald Trump, the one stable energy flow has begun to fluctuate. <laughs> I've never seen such high readings. My mouth is really weird looking. The flow is so overwhelming that the telepoint you see over there was shattered to pieces, and now there are reports that a giant beast appeared over the sea just to the north of Delkwitz Tower. I have a bad feeling that these two events are connected, and that they're warning us of something worse to come. Hmm. I understand that research inclines you to pursue these matters. However, I ask that you leave the investigation to the duchy. Eh? So the duchy knows the cause of all these strange phenomena? Not exactly. We have numerous parties investigating the situation. However, many of these, those sent into the field, have vanished. We cannot allow any more accidents. The damage to Venadiel would be great if we were to lose such an important engineer as you, Sid. Ha! <laughs> Let me guess. The scientists back in Juno told you to get rid of all those who got in their way. Who do they think they are? Come to think of it, I have a good reason to believe that it's those lunatics that are causing all this trouble. What, what, what is going on? Too late. Silly's getting in there. In we go. I need to check my music. Oh, just draws us right into the area? No? Oh. Whoops, I didn't get a good screenshot of Sid's mouth. <laughs> come, Miro. Hey, look, I don't come on command, guys. Like, that's just not how it works. I wish I knew what these places were supposed to represent, because it's so cool looking. Wheels are in motion. Oh, it's Hala, obviously. Darkness calls. Heed your destiny. Well, that's cool. It just brings us right in here. We didn't have to go through that other area. Okay, let me check my music. Config. Yeah, as I thought, music slow. Is that better? Probably. I don't know. Alright, so let's find our way through here. I'm gonna summon some trust, so. Did you go in the thing? No. no. I'm gonna summon Ulagor. Ulagor. What the fuck is this dude? What the hell? Oh, it's Berrigan! I didn't expect him to be so cool. Virgin! 
bringing a little kid in here with us. <laughs> it's okay, she can't get hurt by anything, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Don't tell me you're still wearing that robe. I mean, it is so last fire's day. <laughs> I'm never not using her. She's so sassy. I think these things attack us, by the way. Uh, the idle wanderers, eh? No, they're fucking brain stems. Oh, this one's getting thumped. Oh, we got incoming. Oh, wait, no, he just walked away. So, in the third area, there's always a notorious monster. Well, not always, but that's where they spawn. Okay. Do they have to stone five us? Like. Yes. And anyway, with this notorious monster you're talking about. Uh, apparently the item it drops can be turned in uh, for the map of these areas. If you wanted the map. Fuck you, Idle Wonder. There's a memory so I have to go right there. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking rogue brain stems. I really like the battle music in these areas. What is this feather step idle wand? Remnant of a startling memory. My character's just hit like five times in a row. There you go. Alright. Let's go fight that memory as a sectory. Here till this becomes something. Yes. Like how we have the scariest looking trust and then the little kid. <laughs> Come on, it's Bergen. You remember Bergen? Something's going really strange with Windor for me. What's it? What? Mob, mob compass, Lua. Are you getting compass. a bunch of LUA errors? Yeah. That's weird. Everything's like loading all weird. <laughs> well, let me know if you need to stop for anything. I, I don't. It's not impacting my gameplay really. It's just weird. Uh, that's not it. I'd have to stray at it. Maybe it's this one over here? Maybe. It's got a couple strays. So we should be able to see it by now, so that's not it either. Alright. So it's probably on the other side of this stuff. There's a wanderer. Okay. So I don't know if like the wanderers in that will aggro us. I think it's just the ones with like idle in their name. They were added in to okay. fuck with like level 70s and shit. I see. Cause this is like a level 55 zone or something? Uh, 30. 30? Yeah, it auto cap- it used to cap you at 30. Uh... Now that may just be the, uh... The, um... And boss that caps you at 30, but, uh... I recall it being, like, everything. So you think it's that thing over there? Yeah. Fuck off, Idle Wanderers. We got Barrigan. He'll use uh, Breath of Decay on you. Ah, there it is. 
Apparently these things will move like every three minutes or something. Huh. Alright, so it's supposed to be a notorious monster in this next area that's going to pop up. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that gives you can turn in to get the map? Mm-hmm. I see. Or do something but to get the map, I don't know. The, oh, you got to trade it to a spot, uh, a question mark spot. That's right. But I have no idea what the... Uh, or what the item is in this area or what the notorious monster is so it's probably a weeper if I had to guess there's a lot of those here so if you see anything that looks different or has a different name a thinker or a seether maybe it's a seether I'm gonna fight it it doesn't it. seem like it Rebel oh it. no Recollection of guilt, remnant of rev malevolent memory. Oh, here's the memory receptacle. That might be it. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be weird if we could one shot a and uh, even level thirty and M. But... Yeah. Ugo, a cast arrow kills everything. Thanks, Ugo. You're a very nice looking fellow. I like your horns. And that weird gold hat you have on. Hey, memory receptacle, where are you? Do not spawn one? Oh, that's his raid. Maybe it faint as, uh, feigned as that. Maybe it like, disappeared as we were killing it or something? Mm, maybe. Okay, I thought the thing I got us. Let's go find another one. Uh, there's a thinker. Weeper. Are you killing something? Dead. Let's go this way. This could be it. Maybe. See there. That was the name of the first one we killed. Uh, this is not it. No. Yeah, a chocobo jig. Hey, look, there's the tower. Hey, tower. There's another en entryway thing over here, so let's head over there. That's the way out. That's the one we came from. There's a memory receptacle. Let's kill it first, then the strays. Alright, so now we don't look for one of those, we look for an entrance into the tower. Which is... I can't see the tower, so... 
There's the way out of the dungeon. Oh, there's trees, they're like up in the air, but they're missing half of their stock. Yeah. Half of the trunk, like, that's weird. It's weird shit, yeah? That's why I love this place, though, it's so weird. Yeah. I think the tower is just up over here, maybe? I don't know. Just trying to, like, see what's materializing in the distance, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's this way. See a building, but I don't see the tower. I'm fighting an idle wanderer. All right. Lots of idle wanderers around here. It's dead. Not bad. You did 1,362 damage, they only an edge, and I did 6,692. That's not what I meant to use. I wanted to use an AoE. Oh, well, that makes sense. Area attack. Oh, yeah, no, it is an area attack. I guess you just killed that mob faster than I. Well, it's 6,000 damage. Oh, livid either. What's that? This must be one of the ones that aggro high level players. Still not capped? No. <laughs> I should just go and do it, but I'm so lazy that I just don't. Well, that's alright. I thought you were. I, I thought we capped last week, but uh, nope. Well, not nope. Last week. I'm like 69%. Fair enough. Yeah, that's I think I see something glowing in the distance, but I don't know what that is. That's a gate of some sort over there. Where are you? I don't like see behind you. us, like in this direction. Do you see that glowing over there? What is that? Well, let's go to it and find out. Okay. There's a weeper. Oh, that's what the tower. Is this, is this so? This is the way we're supposed to go. Yeah, I see the tower. Excellent. Oh, 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 I went the other way. I thought we were talking about the same thing, but we were not. Well, I saw the tower and decided to run towards it. Where are you? I just saw like, a gate in the wall. I see you now. Oh, I see the gate you're talking about. Hey, come with me. If you want to possibly die. <clears throat> we're not going to die in here. Um, no, we're not, but... Back in the day, we did. A lot. <laughs> I was only able to complete two out of the three of these, so... Now we will make your dream come true. To complete these areas? Yep. Excellent. I don't even think I should summon trusts for this. Probably not. Oh, man, we inside the tower. Okay, so where are you? There you are. Ready? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go click this door. We web of Recollections. Ancient Flames Beckon. Let's do it. Thirty-five seconds. Can we do it? Uh, 
Alright, let's do this. It is a th one that looks like a thinker. It's a wrecker, or a reeker. Hey, you lady reaper, I thought you had to go do your signing. Let's do it. <laughs> it's like punch punch dead. I like that. What is that? Oh. Failed. Can feel it. This dream, whose can it be? Oh, we broke um, the record. Did we? Yeah. Amazing. Now the next person who comes in there will be like cleared by two people, including Miro. Yeah. Excellent. You cannot remember when that. Exactly. We'll screenshot that. You cannot remember exactly when or when exactly, but you have obtained the light of Hala. <laughs> and yeah, twenty nine seconds. Mira. We did it. What was the original record? It was... 35 seconds. Yeah, we crushed it by like 6 seconds. Good job, Critter. Yeah. Yeah. I think the only way to beat that any faster would be to enter the arena with run speed increase and one-shot it. It clears your buffs. Ah. But so the only way to do it faster would be to one-shot it. Yeah. Because you killed it in two hits. Yeah. I didn't even get to attack. <laughs> I think. I think. Let me see. Do, do, do. Uh, um, no, I hit it. I hit it one time. Okay, so, yeah, it was three hits dead. Excellent. Well, Enemy Gamer, if you wanted the... Uh, thing to pass, then I'm sorry. If you didn't want it to pass, then congratulations. But we are happy to see you here. That is true. That gave me 1,500 experience points. Now I'm at 72%. Uh, yeah, you'll get 1,500 each time uh, we do each of these bosses. Excellent. So I have, uh, it all, I think it also gives you 1,500 limit points, too. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Oh. Hey, you tell that person. Get off my link shell. Yeah. Hello, Melky. Hello. Melky heard we broke the record. <laughs> Gotta go change that. It's like um, PMET telling me that you uh, said hi to an NPC. Yeah, I did do that. They were like, hello, and I was like, hi. And she's very confused. Or when you said hi to the dog in Resident Evil. <laughs> hey, hey, puppy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tarangi Canyon, that's where we got to go now. It's been a while since we've been to Taranga Canyon, actually. Jesus, why do people keep texting me? They need to stop. The cat is stretching. I'm petting him. That's cute. Okay. Well, then that's good. 
I'm glad that it failed then. But did you say something else? Don't know. Don't think so. Okay. Is this the way to go? Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. Alright. Oh wow! They wanted to take. So it was like a re... it was a renegotiation of the contract by the people who hired your union. Like they wanted to change your contract, basically. F. Don't people in the companies know that you shouldn't invest in the customer, you should invest in your employees? Because uh, when you have happy employees, they're more likely to do their fucking jobs. Yeah. The car, uh, the union that I'm a part of, has been working out of contract for as long as I've been working there. And we've been trying to renegotiate for a new contract higher pay we, get, we don't get paid um as much as we should probably we're not getting like the raises we normally get we're just getting cost of living raises which is not very much and so what we want to get is like uh the contract that has retroactive pay in part of the clause so that we get money when the new contract is settled but the uh university system doesn't want to do that <laughs> so that, among other things, they don't want to do. So, the something wrong with, they're ongoing. There's something wrong with this world and people don't want to pay their employees. Uh, or, yeah. at the very least, don't want to pay them fairly. Right. It's like, oh, you make just enough to live. That should be good. Yeah, like, I should be making probably about 5 to 10k more per year than I am. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about me. I went from making 8k a year to 40k a year, so I can't argue with that. Yeah. I make... I think I make about the same you do, but I live in New York City, so... <laughs> yeah, you're... <laughs> if, I pay the less... The of living is different. <laughs> I pay less for my apartment a month than you pay for that one room. That's true. My apartment is something like 30-something, 300, 3,000-something, maybe more. Yeah, Total. exactly. All right, so let's go in here. Okay. Oh, I clicked myself. Okay, cool. We shall investigate further. That's right, we shall. I'm really excited to see what the whole change of Promethe expansion leads to, because, like I said, I started it and never got past the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we are now entering possibly one I've never done before. I don't know if I, which one of these I've done, because they all look very similar, but they all like are awesome. Yeah. Hall of Transference. What's this guy? You voiced this guy. Alright, let me see him. Oh, it's this guy. Ha! Huh. So you've finally arrived! I heard that you were poking your nose into matters at the second crag, so I naturally assumed that this would be the next place you'd visit. Hmm. Alone, are we? Where's Miro? Well, I see you are not as foolish as I thought. You may have the upper hand, think you have the upper hand now, but I too have a few tricks up my sleeve. Just... What? He just slapped me in the face? The only thing I care about is that boy. One less adventure in my way would only be a benefit to me. Wolfgang, kill her. But sir, while she has been seen, or while she was seen with the boy, our research on her has turned up no evidence of any other connections. I do not feel that Mira's crimes warrant death. Wolfgang, you asked what the purpose behind this place was, and I'm certain I explained matters clearly. It is a citadel, built to protect the mother of all life on Vanadiel, the Crystal. Only we know that secret, and as that seeker's keepers, we are eternally bound to this place as her protectors. However, darkness has already befallen the crystals within two of the crags. The boy was present at both, and it was Silly who led him. But of what proof? Proof? What more proof do we need? Where Silly is, the boy is sure to follow. And here he is now. Y 
You, boy without a name, you know the darkness of which I speak. The darkness that the Dawn Maidens have feared for thousands of years. The darkness that eats away at the very soul of Venadiel. The darkness known as the emptiness. And you, you were born within the emptiness. You brought it into our world. From where did you bring it? Mm. Not going to answer, are we? Wolfgang, do you need any more proof? Do not forget your duty as the captain of the Ducal Guard. Any more hesitation in your decision-making and you'll end up like your father. You. Does the specimen need to be alive for us to collect sufficient data? Of course not, sir. Where do we get the fight, Wolfgang? Well, he cut that kid down quick. He... He didn't fight back! Why? Vivian Mia. Come, Miro. This one has bones in it. What the F is that thing? Why do you struggle? This place looks cool. Face the darkness. These things always make me think, like, uh, like they drop remnants of memories and various other things that all reference memory of some sort. So, my guess is these areas are like memories of the crystal. Maybe. And that's why they're so fragmented, because, you know, memories fade. Yeah. Alright. Magic. What trust should we bring this time? Let's bring Uka. We need to bring the little girl again. Ah, is it a dancer? It might be. Nagelith. And Karumaru. Alright, let's find our way through this awesome area. There's Satana says, yeah. Okay. A weeper. A wanderer. Oh, there's a craver. Luca is a dancer. Thank you, Lady Satana. What is she using as a weapon? That's the question. It's weird. Picture of my asshole. Uh, oh, that might be. <laughs> Just a framed picture. Got him. I defeated the memory receptacle. Right? You cheated. Alright. Well, this is the area with the bones. Oh, we start in the bone. Alright. That's cool. Alright, so, where do you want to go? Left? Right? Yeah, left. Alright, let's go left. That could be it right there. That's true. I also have um, fire, fire watch, and uh, everybody's gone to the rapture that I can stream too. At some point. Fire watch. 
Yeah, it's like this game uh, that I've been looking to get for a long time, and it just came out recently. It's like this... It's kind of like an adventure game where it takes place in the 80s in like uh, a national park out west, and it's like this mystery game where you have to discover what happened or what's happening. And you're, you're like, took a job as like a park overseer and you like, your only contact is with this woman who's like your boss and she works in another tower near you or something like that. That's kind of strange sounding. It, but... seems, it seems like a really cool game. It's it's like uh, to solve some sort of mysteries that occur. Dude, look at how much damage there. I just did. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> a thousand per punch. Yeah, we're on the third floor now. Before... Okay, so keep an eye out for any notorious monsters. I will. I think that uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture is also sort of a mystery game. That sounds Maybe interesting. Like where everybody's gone to the Rapture. Or so it seems, I guess. It's, I don't know anything. The cool thing about Firewatch and uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture is that I don't know anything else about it other than the very beginnings of what Occurs, which is great. Like I, I haven't spoiled anything for myself, which is difficult to do sometimes because everybody's gone to the Rapture. It's been out for a while. Yeah. Oh, uh, earlier today I upgraded my pre-order on Dark Souls to uh, the Collector's Edition, and in Canada oh, yeah. it is more than 130. Holy crap! You gotta oh, realize it's can Canadian money. Canadian money. It's 160. Yeah. Can Canada dollars? Ah. Uh, it pains me when I hear Canadians call Canada Canadia. <laughs> it's like you live in the country, you know how the name is pronounced. You aren't being clever. Remember when I called uh, PMX brother's fiance a uh, Canadian American? Canadian American. That, that's true, that did happen. It's kind of like a snowy wasteland. Yeah. It seems like snow or dust, you know? Yeah, we're in Silent Hill. That's true. This is what Silent Hill becomes. I should just get a ROM for Silent Hill 3 and play that. See, like, what's this door here? Okay, so as far as I know, these are used for something else later on. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, something's attacking. Woeful Reaper is attacking. So basically, if it has an adjective before its name, it is one of the monsters that were added later. Uh, basically to fuck with higher level players. They probably won't kill you, they're just annoying. Like this idle wanderer here who decides it wants to fuck with him. Lady Satana says it's for an ENM. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'll pretend I, I'll pretend I do. Okay, so maybe we actually have to go up to the tower now? I know what Ian that means. Exceptionally notorious monster. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny if that's what it was. Extremely notorious monster. Just another relatively very intelligent system. That's right. What? Fuck you. Uh, what? Crawler? What the hell is that? That's, that's a like Craver. A Craver. That's probably that's what the boss is, because... These oh. ones weren't in the other one. However, there is one over there called the Co Coveter, and I think that's an over to. No, I, I think that's the NM. Oh, yeah? Let's fight it. Seems like it's taking more hits. Until I hit it. <laughs> Remnant, Remnant of, of Coveter. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the. Uh... And where do you trade it to? Somewhere in here, or...? Okay, so, as far as I've read, usually it's on the fourth floor, and it's a set of question marks. Uh, thing is, though, it may... the fourth floor has, like, two different sets, so it could be any of them. Hmm. So just keep tabbing around until we see, as we run by things, to see if we can find a question mark? Yeah, may as well get the map, why the hell not? <laughs> we may want to come back in here one day.
Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. This may be where we started. Huh. <laughs> oh well. Ah, uh, there's a memory receptacle. Let's go kill it. Okay, third or fourth floor, yeah. Yes. Alright, now we gotta get to the tower. It's really taking us so far away from it. Alright, so if you see a question mark, let me know. I'm just okay. tabbing around. And whoever gets the uh, receptacle will trade it to it and see if that works. I didn't see one on the third floor, so hopefully it'll be here. If we don't find it, oh well, we got the item for later. Idle Wanderers. Fuck those Idle Wanderers. Oh, I see the tower. Yeah. Let's make our way there. There's another person here. Is there? Oh, question mark. Excellent. Let's get to it. Uh, it's right over here. Alright. Some I just saw it. Oh, I got sucker at it. It's in this box. So you you trade the okay, so memo to the box? Whoever has the item, which I don't know if anybody has it yet. Treasure. What is it called? Uh, spear? Indigo. Indigo? Indigo memos here. I have a barrel one. Okay, we'll cast lot on the indigo. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I can't sell my trade. I went. Mirrored. Mirrored. Alright. Alright, trade. This might be it. Oops. Did nothing. It's not the one we're looking for. It's not. What does that mean? It's not the one we're looking for. Okay, so there are more than one question marks in the area. This is not uh, the one we need. Uh. Oh, well, nice try. But we have the item for later. Alright, you ready for this? We gotta beat this record too. I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Well, if it's lower than... Ready? Web of rec Recollections. Let's see. Click it. Ancient, Ancient Flames back. back. Alright. All right. What's the rec record? 30. 3 seconds. Th two, 33 seconds. We can do this. Let's try. <laughs> just run forward. Don't wait. Yeah, don't even... Because it just takes auto attacks to kill it. Maybe? Don't know. We'll find out. Took a lot of hits that time. Yeah. Told you it was going to be one of those, though. Yeah. I think that's the one we couldn't kill when I was playing this before. Uh -huh. Back in 06. Ten Back years ago. In day. Ten years ago. Holy crap. Wow. Still looks a better looking game than Lord of the Rings Online. <laughs> Up in this guy. 
that evil boy has released the darkness. Well, we're not going to beat this. I think the record goes on how long the cutscenes too. Maybe yeah. wrong, but... The emptiness is destruction that knows not of its destructive force. Even the Dawn Maidens, who fear neither man nor god, tremble in the presence of this hideous darkness. The emptiness is... How? Why can he touch the crystal? Because you were wrong about what it is. What? You. you. I'm assuming it's Edelmarsh, right? Yeah, go ahead. You will never betray me. The will of the crystal is aligned with the will of this world. Yes. That which was broken into five parts. There will be no salvation. Oh, this is you. It exists within the soul of every living person. We are all vessels. Let us pray to the goddess, to all the gods. Damn question marks. That's all right. Green Ranger. I always knew he was going to come into it at some point. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Second record broken. 28 seconds. I did it faster than the first one. Huh. That's right. That's weird, considering I killed her in like three hits. Oh well. Chapter 2 The Isle of Forgotten Saints. Cool. Chapter 2, The Isle of Forgotten Mirrors. Hot. Ugh. Where is this place? Somewhere to the far west, I feel. Oh. What? what in the... Tars? Look at that! You can wow, that. just wow! The sky is tearing! Oh. Ow! <laughs> I was playing Chiriki, you can play Kuki and Maki. Ooh, a castaway! Huh? Where'd this one wash up from? We gotta tell someone. But before we do, Russell Russell. <laughs> Still ain't my shit. The mysterious amulet has been stolen. Really? I got these great weapons and everything and you steal my weapon. I already got the map for here. Alright. That works out. See if I have the map for here. Yep. Alright, so let me look at where we need to go here real quick. Okay, so that was cool. We did that. Alright. Invitation West. Yeah, got some stuff. So we gotta head west, it says, so this way. Tavnasian sheep, uh oh. Are we in Tavnasia? The place destroyed by Lightbringer? As we found out from wow. the Sandorian story. I like this place though. Listen to that music. Nice. There's a Gigas wow, over there. Wow, wow, What? <laughs> yeah, Silly. Oh, silly has the map. I have every map that you can buy from the map vendor now, so... I actually don't yet. I be. All the, all the other maps, I don't know where to get, so...
was that? Let's get close to it. Bogard. What does it look like from the front? Looks like an asshole. It's cool looking though. <laughs> Waves. I took a picture with me waving next to it. Gigas Wrestler. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of exploring now. Looks kind of like Lithium Plateau, but different. There's orcs here. What the heck? It's not supposed to be orcs here. And leeches. What is that? Aerophies. Acrophies. Look at this. Wow. Oh, there's a thing on the tree. Look at that water. Watch for the ram. Which ram? Wolfram and Heart. You know what I'm referencing there? That's right. Daredevil. Huh. What? No, that's not Daredevil. What? That's Angel. Oh, uh, Wolfram and Heart. I'm thinking of Lehman and Zack. Yeah, Lehman and Zack is different. Well, I guess Wolfram and Heart and Lehman and Zack could be the same thing. In alternate reality. Oh, okay. We'll keep an eye out for the ram that kills 99s. And we'll kill it. <laughs> Let's take the zip line. Oh. Ah. Yeah, we can't zip line like in Dying Light. I saw that. I remember that. And that's the part where you're climbing up that the rock, the sheer face of the building, and it's like PMS should try to do that. She'd love it. Oh, the uh, the bridge? No, not even the bridge. Just like the one. Or maybe it was a bridge. I couldn't tell. It's like yeah, I was uh, climbing up the side of the bridge. It was like a beige uh, stone kind of thing. Did you see me jump from the bridge? No, I missed that. I jumped twice. It was awesome. That's awesome. And then we lived somehow from jumping from the bridge. <laughs> Giganto buggards. It's running around. Is this the sheep? No, it's that's a gigan sheep. Gigas is sheep. Yeah, that's where I'm headed to is the buck right now. When I was looking at the uh, mission, it's like, don't teleport from here. You'll have a very hard time getting back. It's like Pip. But we did get back to Tulia, so... Is that thing following me, or is it... Oh, it's just going in the same direction. Alright. Orcish Gladiator. Why are there orcs here? I guess they were the ones that got destroyed by Tulia. They were invading Tavnesia. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess... All the beastmen were, weren't they? <laughs> Death jackets. So I guess Lightbringer didn't kill them all after all. Well, I figure this is the, like the past, maybe. That might be the past. I'm gonna take a shot from this destruction. That's cool. Got it. Excellent. I was looking through all the screenshots. And I was like, "Yeah, screenshots." I'll have to it's add a, like so many screenshots. I have to add in a link. Hey, there's Wait, like Tana. I'll have to add in a uh, link to my Facebook page for. Miro Gaming. There we go. Okay. Is this the way we go?
You. I thought you had perished. Psst. Huh. I see the boy is not with you. Very well. Let us put our differences aside for the moment. However, I suggest that you do not make any sudden movements as we are being watched. This guy's wearing a primitive scouter. <laughs> Travelers, this place is nothing but a memory fleeting on the edge of time. There is little we have to offer outsiders. So I must ask you these questions. From where have you come, and to where do you go? If your conscience is clean and your intentions just, you should have no reason not to provide me with answers. Yeah! Prove that you're innocent. Yeah, a fight to the death! Oh, whoops, I think I played one of your guys. What? You say that these Talatars stole something from you? But that was... Ow, ow, ow. Stealing items from unconscious stranger. What were you three thinking? But that amulet is precious. I bet that funny looking adventurer stole it from her. It does closely resemble the one Prish had in her possessions. Amulet? So that explains. We shall wait for Prish's return. She will know whether the amulet is hers or not. Until that time, I suggest you rest here in the safe hold. However, remember that you are not welcome, and the moment the issue at hand is resolved, you will be asked to leave and never come back. Well, at least he's far right about that. Mm -hmm. That's not going to end up being the case, though. Alright. So. Oh, so the objective now is to, instead of passing through the oak door, we gotta pass through the walnut door. However, we're gonna head straight forward and collect the book and the home point. Oh man, that great sprawling city from the uh, cutscene is now it's just a cave. <laughs> oh, maybe there's more to it above. Alright, so we gotta go to the walnut door. A canine. Mega pants! Ah, oh, I never. <laughs> I didn't think I'd run into mega pants here. Today is full of surprises. Pants. Yeah. That is also an awesome name, I approve. I gotta go to the top floor. Tabnasia! The Tabnasian Gymnasian. Oh. Ran into a wall. Good job. Running into walls is what Mira does not do best. Still behind us? Mm -hmm. Alright. There's Burr. Brander? Hello, Brander. <laughs> Should you ever see my stream, you were f briefly featured. Ah, uh, is that the walnut door? The walnut door. Click it. In we go. He's the only one in here. Maybe talk to him. I think so. Welcome to our humble city. Though it is little left of it, I heard from Justinius the details of your predicament. Imagine that you were from the mainland. Tell me, what is the situation beyond the Churning Sea? I see. 
Even after the Shadow Lord's defeat, the struggle for peace continues. No one has the time to wonder about the fates of their lost brothers. This is Tavnesia. A new Tavnesia. Built from the ruins of the once mighty Marquisite. For 20 years, the survivor of, of the Great War toiled to create what you see here. For 20 years, we have dug and carved our way up from a narrow storage wave below the Tavnasian Cathedral. As an adventurer, I am sure you heard tales of the Pearl of Zalmlog, the renowned Tavnasian Marquisite. Her wide harbors would welcome ships from all corners of Venadiel. Carrying never before seen goods and treasures. A mecca of trade. A place where dreams of wealth and success could become reality. It was a golden age of Travnesia. But it all came to a close 20 years ago. The Beastmen Hordes concentrated their attacks on our fair nation. And when they were through, there was nothing left but a wasteland uninhabitable by even the most foulest of creatures. We too should have met the same fate as the Marxist. Late in our escape from the peninsula, we made for the cathedral, where we awaited our deaths at the hands of the orcs. However, it was not the orcs who arrived, but the cardinal, Mildarian Sigurme. She tended to our wounded bodies and spirits and informed us how to escape. She opened the gates to the lower parts of the cathedral and told us to follow the delivery tunnels to the city. We did as we were told, and it was not long before we arrived at the subterranean harbor deep beneath this place. However, by the time we had arrived, the boats had already gone. A terrible explosion had destroyed the land bridge to Quan. We were trapped. But even with our backs against the wall of despair, and courage and faith we had received from the Cardinal remained in our hearts. For the past twenty years we have survived on the belief that Altana will save us. It is that belief that has helped us to come together and rebuild our nation. However, we still struggle f to provide even for ourselves. I am sorry we cannot offer you any more than a warm welcome, but please feel free to utilize any of our facilities. I pray that the power that led you to Tabnesia become a blessing for both our peoples. Nope, it just means the destruction of Tabnesia again. Alright. Head all the way down to the basement level and examine the sewer entrance at I-7 at the zone to... Okay, so we gotta head down to the sewer level. It's not done here. Damn. Well, that was a cool cutscene. Found out that people survived. Do you know who Mildarian is? Mm, not yet. We have her trust. Uh... In that case, she's my best friend. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of going. Oh, hang on, I gotta reset my stream.